Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into the Amazon best selling tools. Uh, I just released a new release tools video. It's hit or miss when doing those videos because it's not necessarily new tools like brand new tools released by companies. It's just new tools added to Amazon by various different sellers. So that doesn't always mean that they're brand new products. But that video is released if you guys wanna check that out. But today we're gonna to be looking at the best sellers as far as tools. So if you go over to the Alls tab and select best sellers, then go down to tools and home improvement, and then you can select air tools. You know, it's, it's household items and stuff like that all through here. I go to power and hand tools and we'll just go through some of these and let me know your guys thoughts on them. I'm not going to go through every single one. I'll just discuss any of them that I see that I think are uh, worth mentioning. So like this, this is by a company I've never heard of, but drill brush is the main brand that released these and there are multiple other brands that sell the same thing. Uh, not necessarily the same product, but same idea behind it. So some of them are cheaper brushes that may fall apart, but I have the actual drill brush brand and it has held up very well and it's great for detailing and cleaning and everything. So it's definitely a good tool to have if you like to maintain your vehicles or if you know it's not just for automotive use, it can be used around the house as well. Uh, but it's basically a, a various different setup of brushes that attach to your drill and allows you to really deep clean into the carpets and seats and things like that and it's very handy to have there's a lot of other sellers like i stated and they all are really good price anywhere this set being 10 to 15 dollars i think i paid around 20 for mine i got a four or five piece set and uh you can get them in different bristle strengths so more aggressive or less aggressive depending on what you're cleaning here you have the dewalt t-stack tool storage i have the craftsman version of this and it is very nice it's got some nice slides on it it's got a nice locking uh tab underneath here in the center it's the exact same one just the dewalt version I'm not sure if they'll they don't even show the drawers open or anything uh, but it's really nice i really enjoy it i have the craftsman toolkit as well for the the stack setup and the drawers are just kind of friction where these are actually on slides and work very well i wish the the toolkit came with the locking mechanism and the slides that this set does this one is normally 56 dollars on amazon down to 33 dollars a savings of 41 percent it's got four and a half stars at over 20,000 ratings so rated very highly uh, and this is roughly the price that you're going to see it for in stores as well. So not a huge savings or anything like that, but definitely a good product. Uh, and then they have their other products on here as well. The deeper drawer. I have this deep box from Craftsman. I have the two drawer like I just showed you. I have this flat top box as well. And that's it as far as these options. But you can see some of the various different options that DeWalt has here but definitely a good little set. I use it in my work van. It's held up very well. A little grabber tool if, if you, you know, you have to reach things up high. A DeWalt drill bit set, titanium four-piece drill bit set, $21 to $85, depending on the size or how many you get, I suppose. Uh, here's one that ranges from $99 to $216. I'm guessing that depends on if you just get the you know, uh, drill set, or if you get the drill bit set with it, this is on sale from $218 to $129, a savings of basically $90. Five stars at 632 ratings. It doesn't look like it's like the the brushless drill or anything like that. It is uh, the 20 volt, and they have various different packages as well. So that's where the price range is going to come in at. You know, a lot of these torque wrenches going around Amazon a lot of the same torque wrenches just different companies you'll see a lot of these just floating around um so i mean if you're looking for a, a cheap torque wrench that you're not too worried about and you just use it here and there throughout the year then buying a cheaper one of these on amazon is probably just fine but if you're getting into the professional field or you do quite a bit of work i do suggest getting a little bit higher quality torque wrench here's a little parts bin organizer i'm not going to go into every single one here's a klein tools 11 in one screwdriver nut driver that includes eight bits and three nut drive sizes for $15. An Ipex, uh, Cobra, the extra small water pump pliers. Uh, it does not come with the grips or anything on it. They're small version. The, the Cobras are just fantastic pliers. Now keep in mind that the extra small, they are extra small and 
they do not carry the little push button or anything like that they're self-adjustable you know you just open them up and slide them down from thirty three dollars roughly down to uh, thirty dollars so a savings of almost three dollars so a little bit spendy for a very small set of pliers but i do have a small set of knipex and they've actually been pretty handy and they have various different sizes and that's where you're going to see that price difference at that's why you see the the price variation from 24 dollars to 173 dollars roughly <clears throat> here's a vac master beast i actually almost purchased this or I should say a vac master not this specific one but they do have a lot of good reviews and they have a lot of good shop vacs if you're not interested in one in this size but you are looking for a good shop vac this is definitely a good brand to go with i know a lot of professional detailers that use the vac master setup and i run the rigid uh five horsepower compact uh, mobile one and it's fantastic but this is definitely a good option as well then you have a dewalt 20 volt brushless drill impact driver combo set here you have a dewalt 3h drive socket set i actually had back in the day quite a bit of these dewalt compact sets and they were actually pretty nice now the i i still have a lot of dewalt sockets and have really enjoyed them especially for the price and the quality that you get uh, the ratchets there's nothing wrong with them they operate just fine but they are extremely heavy ratchets they're they're not slimmed down in any way um, they're definitely a good option to use as a hammer as well because they are so heavy. A drill guide for $8, some micro cutters or flush cutters for $7 to $23 depending on which version you get. So as you can tell here, there's a lot of items on here that are like miscellaneous, like not specifically hand tools. Like I guess you could consider this a hand tool, but when I click on hand tools, I, spe I, I specifically look for automotive or electrician or, you know, thing that style of hand tool not all of these miscellaneous knives and brushes and stuff but i mean you can only narrow it down so much here you have a 20 volt max battery uh two five amp hour batteries a charger a, a light and a travel bag some more of the dewalt titanium drill bits this is that just looks like a horrible set i'm just saying you get a whole 10 sockets i don't even see a ratchet in here what am i going to do with those sockets and no ratchet put it on a nut driver you're out of your mind and then you get a whole three wrench five wrenches <whistles> solid solid unit no you can get a whole socket set for thirty dollars <laughs> uh, all right so here's a little uh rotary tool for forty two dollars i have the wen rotary tool that's i believe around twenty dollars on amazon and i've had mine for seven years probably and it's been fantastic so i wouldn't if this one burned up i would immediately just go ahead and buy the exact same when rotary tool over again because i've had this one for so long and done so much with it and it's held up so well i would definitely spend another twenty dollars on it black and decker yeah I'd, I'd try and stay away from that cheap stuff here's an Irwin diagonal cutting pliers six inch pair for nine dollars and fifty cents here's your magnetic finger I wonder if they have the assault finger on here. Yeah, this is the, the assault finger. Yeah, it's the frontal assault magnetic finger. Love it. Got to get me one of these. Both for $15 down from $18. Great for grabbing those little miscellaneous fasteners that you drop down in little hidden areas. Here you got a Craftsman combo set. It's six gallon pancake air compressor with two tools. The Tecton half inch st uh, click style torque wrench, a miscellaneous I stay away from these off-brand power tools and stuff like that. It's $40. You can go out and spend another $20 and get a good name brand one. It's not worth trying to save that little bit of money to get a non-name brand tool that's going to have horrible power and battery life. The Klein Impact Flip Socket Set for uh, Impact Drivers. That's a fairly new item released by Klein some carbide rotary burr bits now obviously burr bits are normally expensive because they are very durable and very handy uh, i've bought a small cheap set like this before and had very bad experiences with it i used it in my rotary tool and it literally very very little pressure and it literally bent the shaft on it and it wasn't cleaning up the nicest so i try to stay away from these cheaper sets and go with 
Unfortunately, they are more expensive. You'll pay more than $13 for just one bit, but having those good quality burr bits are um, essential if you're trying to do any sort of clean work with them. Gear ties, which are always handy for extension cords and miscellaneous things, keeping things tied up and clean. Maybe you're trying to keep wires tied up behind your desk or anything like that. Here's a Klein Tools 4-in-1 electronic, electronic screwdriver, a DeVault router. Here's a Klein Tools ratcheting modular uh, cable crimper, wire stripper, and wire cutter. Another one of the DeWalt sets. Nyko is kind of hit or miss for me. Um, I've had good experiences with them for what I paid for them, and then I've also had bad experiences with them, like a, I want to say it was a plier set that I bought from them, and it was the worst quality set that I've ever used before. Um, but I have bought some smaller socket sets, I believe, way back in the day that turned out to be pretty decent little deals. So Nyko is kind of hit or miss for me. DeWalt Jigsaw Tool Only for 142 eh. And that is it as far as the Amazon's best sellers as of right now. I will constantly monitor this and once again probably do a video on the these new releases and best sellers once every two months or so. Uh, just because they're not always the best deals or best sellers. There's a lot of miscellaneous stuff on here that gets thrown in here and that just isn't always the, like this. Like, it's got four and a half stars at 31,000 reviews, but if you're anybody that's actually looking into tools, this is not something that you're going to be looking at. So that's why I don't necessarily always like to look at these because this isn't something that my viewers are interested in. They're looking for good deals, not extremely cheap garbage uh, so I'll try and keep these videos coming if you guys enjoy but please let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit that thumbs up and as always if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing I'll see you guys next time